Our garments touched by hands from all over the world. 35% cotton, 65% polyester. The journey begins in Central America in the cotton fields of El Salvador. In a province soaked in blood, pesticide sprayed workers toil in a broiling sun, pulling cotton for two dollars a day. Then we move on up to another rung, Cargill. A top 40 trading conglomerate takes the cotton through the Panama Canal. Then off the eastern seaboard coming to the US of A for the first time. In South Carolina, at the Burlington Mills, joins the shipment of polyester filament, courtesy of the New Jersey petrochemical mills of DuPont. DuPont strands of filament begin in the South American country of Venezuela, where oil riggers bring up oil from the earth for six dollars a day. Then Exxon, largest oil company in the world, Upgrades the product in the country of Trinidad and Tobago. Then back into the Caribbean and Atlantic seas. To the factories of DuPont. On the way to the Burlington Mills. In South Carolina. To meet the cotton from the blood-soaked fields of El Salvador. In South Carolina. Burlington factories hum of weaving oil and cotton into miles of fabric for Sears, who takes its bounty back into the Caribbean Sea, heading for Haiti this time. May she be one day soon free. Far from the Port of Prince Palace, third world women toil doing piecework to see the specifications for three dollars a day. My sisters make my blouse. Leaves the third world for the last time. Coming back into the sea to be wrapped in plastic for me. This third world sister. And I go to the Sears department store where I buy my blouse. On sale for 20% discount. Are my hands clean? Love you, Mother Ben.